This video is for instructional purposes only. The information presented is just one point of view and is not intended to replace individual recommendations that are made by a qualified naturopathic doctor or herbalist. While I use and recommend Nature Sunshine products, my opinion is my own and should not be assumed that that would also be the opinion of Nature Sunshine. We're going to talk to you today about Alzheimer disease. I am uh, Dr. Jane Semple and I have been practicing in Northeast Ohio since 1987. Uh, Alzheimer disease was named for the neurologist who found plaques in some dementia patients. But the pendulum of medicine swings wildly back and forth. What we think at one time we find is not always true. So what they have found, what they found later, was that the plaques that Dr. Alzheimer identified as a specific type of dementia um, are in fact not. Um, that there really was no correlation to the number of plaques and the level of dementia. New research from Mount Sinai School of Medicine that was reported in ARP of September of 2010, their suggestion now is that the drugs that are targeting the plaques, things like Aricept, are, actually may make Alzheimer disease worse. Dementia, understand, is not a normal part of aging. We only lose 1% of our brain cells by the age of 70. So there are things that you can do. Um, the first is uh, a major issue is polypharmacy. That means simply too many drugs. We need fewer drugs, not more drugs, and we need lower dosages. I had a 92-year-old client that was on not a single drug. She um, had a perfectly sharp mind. She had a fall, went into a nursing home. Overnight, they had her on a dozen different drugs. You could not even carry on a conversation with her. Once we reduced her down to two drugs and a couple of supplements, she was right back up to her old self again. Um, what you need to understand is do not take excessive drugs. It is uh, blood pressure. You don't need to reduce it excessively. Cholesterol, we do not need to reduce it excessively. 50% of our drain ma uh, brain matter is actually cholesterol. Exercise. Exercise is good for any, any uh, aging, as are vegetables, fruit, very anti-inflammatory. Then we go to supplements. B12 is something that I would recommend to anyone who thinks that they might potentially be losing it a bit. As we age, we don't have sufficient stomach acid to absorb B12. And so taking B12, and especially a supplement that you can take sublingually, which means under the tongue, can be very beneficial. Always take an individual B with a B complex. For a very basic Alzheimer um, regimen that I recommend would be ginkgo biloba, which is, uh, helps with uh, acetylcholine, which you're trying to raise acetylcholine in Alzheimer's disease. DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid that is very specific to the brain. Make sure through your life you're taking antioxidants. It is vitamins A and D, vitamin E, CoQ10, vitamin C with bioflavonoids. These are excellent. They will protect your brain. Sage is also known um, to raise acetylcholine. And it's interesting that sage, there is an old saying that how can a man die who has sage in his garden? And that is because sage is good for all conditions of aging. It is also known to raise acetylcholine. I would like to thank you for listening today. And please, if you would like more information, pick up my book, Alzheimer's Disease, A Naturopathic Approach by Woodland Publishing. Thank you.